welcome back. My name is Jess, if you're new here, and I am a homeschool mom of two and one on the way. My kids are five, three, and I'm due in September 2019 with a little girl. And on my channel, I don't always just talk about homeschool things. I do talk about mom things and favorites and all that stuff, but in this video specifically, I'm going to be just doing a quick flip through. Well, I don't know how quick it's gonna be, but <laughs> a flip through of our favorite read alouds that we've been reading in our morning time basket, which I'll do a whole other video about, but uh, morning time basket for the arthropod study. This is the Good and the Beautiful's arthropod unit study, and I am loving it, but I do find that I like to put bring some fun storybooks with this study to help my kindergarten and preschooler grasp it a little bit more, a little bit better, and it just makes things more fun when you're incorporating fun things into your morning basket that you'll be learning later on in science. So again, though, you do not need to be going through this study. I just think that if you're going through any type of bug, arthropod, insect unit study, that these are going to be some great books to take a look at. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first one here is called the Icky Bug Counting Book. And this is kind of a reference and storybook. So I, but I put it in this one because it is in our read aloud basket. And it's great because um, it actually goes through counting from zero to 26. And I got this on thrift books. So that was not information that <laughs> pertained to me anyways in that front of the book. So it starts with zero, like I said, zero insects are on this page. And then it goes and it count, and then you can have your little one count the bugs all the way up to 26. Actually, it, you count the bugs all the way up to 25. 26 has a little something back there for you to read, but I won't give away the cute little ending of the story. So this is a really great book as far as counting goes. I actually bought this book back when I was just trying to teach my kids how to count up to 25. So um, now we're using it also as a little bug book. All right, so now we have the bee peek through picture book. We did get this at the library. It is a really fun book. And this story just follows a little bee and it actually rhymes really nicely too. considering actually purchasing this book because it is a quick read through but really fun and engaging and my kids love the rhyming I think it'll be great for my little one when I'm homeschooling her so it's just a really beautiful fun little book I'm going in no particular order uh, I just have these all in my morning basket so I'm just pulling them this is the magic school bus inside a beehive there's also a show that goes right along with this but this book is definitely packed with a lot of information. It's very borderline resource book too. <laughs> so this story just follows these uh, Miss Frizzle and her class go and become bees and they learn all about beehive and bee colonies and beekeepers. And it's just a neat little book that has a lot of different fun conversations that they have also. They also have all these different information. Sometimes we'll just read the story and then sometimes we'll, we'll read all the extras, which takes a lot longer to go through the book. So I got this on thrift books for only a couple dollars and my daughter loves the magic school bus the actual show so I knew that she would love this and when she can actually read by herself I can see that she'll love sitting down with this and reading all the funny little jokes that are in it it's just definitely a cute little read read aloud book but it is a little bit deep or over, a lot it has a lot of information so just be warned of that <laughs> Okay, ants for or underpants for ants is a Usborne phonics reader. This simply just is because there's ants. That's why it's in our read aloud. I didn't know, but it's really a cute little book for early readers to read through. 
but it really has nothing to do with really learning anything because ants don't really wear underwear, so it's just a fun little book. We got that from the library, and I'm my kids thought it was hilarious talking about underwear and ants wearing it. So it was just definitely a fun little one that we can read quickly. But again, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. Um, this is a really great book. My daughter's really interested in the glass wing butterfly. We're actually going to do the butterfly unit soon or the study of it soon um, in a, next week. So we'll get to learn more about butterflies. But The Glass Wing Butterfly is a really beautiful book. And it just follows this butterfly through. She ends up getting lost into the city and she ends up help uh, with uh, other bugs and insects building a flower garden in the city. Our favorite read alouds that we have so far and yeah it's beautiful simple to read simple to understand but it also explains pollination and it talks about working together as friends so I think it was a really cute book it's a firefly night we read this when we went through well it's in our read aloud for the whole unit so for two months we have these books in our morning basket but we definitely liked reading this we learned about fireflies lightning bugs so this just talks about catching them and then releasing them it's a sweet little book with her and her daddy Bug Zoo is a popular book, I would say, if you look for bug books, and it definitely has some great illustrations and a really fun book to read. It does talk about how, you know, collecting bugs, pretty much the whole premise of it is how collecting them makes them sad, so, so don't collect bugs. Um, just so you know, that's what it really, the main thing is about, enjoy the bugs out in out where they live, but don't necessarily trap them. But it's a very big, very large book, if you can tell. And it has very vibrant picture illustrations. This is a fun little book of a little boy who likes to catch bugs, but again, there's the story that you shouldn't keep tons of bugs in your home because they are meant to be out in the wild. So whether or not you agree with that, I'll let you be the judge of it, but um, I think that my daughter is too young to really understand it a lot other than it. I do like that, you know, she knows to just be gentle and God created bugs for a reason and that we shouldn't just go out and hurt them. So, yeah, The Bug Zoo. Really big, colorful, fun, easy to read book. And we have The Bumblebee Queen. This is actually a, a, a similar to where it's a read aloud, but also has some information about very like resource reference type of book too. Because as you see, you can just read these, but you can also read the little snippets there that talk more about the book, or more about the, the what they're talking about on this page. All right, here is another fun one. My daughter is and I you don't use this word lightly because 
it drives me crazy. So, but my daughter is obsessed <laughs> with Wild Kratts. She would watch it all day, every day if she could. And so I picked up this step into reading type of thing. She can't read it, but it is um, a Wild Krat book about different insects. And it very much has the same type of, if you're familiar with Wild Krats, same narration. So that is a very quick read, but it also, sometimes you don't need a really long read in the morning time or throughout the day, so it's nice to have. And it's also, you know, the characters that my daughter loves. So, good book. All right, now we have an Usborne book. This is The Secrets of Apple Tree. This isn't necessarily bug specific, but it is a shine a light. And it does talk about bugs and um, like decomposers and how they help, so. If you're familiar with Shine the Light, this is fun because right behind this area you shine a flashlight and a secret picture will show through. And on each page they have that. The camouflage of a butterfly or a moth. And then a spider's web there. So there are a couple pictures and a couple pages in here that pertain to insects, but you don't have to have everything, I think, be completely focused. It helps them to know that it's not just all about bugs, but how bugs are incorporated into a big picture, like pollination and um, decomposing, other things like that. So yes, Secrets of the Apple Tree, Shine Light, really great book. All right, Monarch Butterfly, I got this on Thrift Books. This is just a story about a monarch butterfly. And it's a story, you know, the way that it's written, but it also really goes into scientific detail. different read-alouds that I have in a morning basket currently. I know there are so many other books out there that talk about insects, even the Very Hungry Caterpillar, things like that, but these ones I have out in our basket right now, they're ones that we're enjoying and I thought that I would show you guys maybe some books that you're not as familiar with, unlike the Very Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> um, and yeah, hopefully this video is interesting or useful for you. I don't know if everybody out there is going to be looking for books and read-alouds for a bug unit study, but obviously if you've watched this video all the way to the end, you were interested. So thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you, yeah, if you do like this, definitely comment or like, it'll help, help me know. Maybe for the following unit study, I plan on doing um, space and just other things where I will incorporate read-alouds, resource books, and I can share those with you if that's something that you feel like is needed out in the YouTube world. So also don't forget to check out my other videos pertaining to this insect unit study. I will have uh, a playlist, but I'm going to have resource books. I'm also going to be doing reviews on the fun activities and art and crafts and all the things that we've done to help make kindergartners, preschoolers, and even moms have fun with uh, insect unit studies. So I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.